boom. It's a thing of action on energy and momentum. But many of you will know that it's also a book, a cherished book by a cherished Australian author, Alice Lester, who is a children's laureate. She's got more of Australia. And the more I get to know her, she's a pretty kick-ass man as well. <laughs> now, verbs are important to me, particularly this one. You see, the word imagine is not only active, it's transformative. And action and transformation happen to be the very space in which theatre shines, making this book so overdue for a live iteration, I can't believe we're the ones lucky enough to bring it to you. Our creative team is Ashley Pike and composer Nate Jilts, both of whom worked on our last show, Robot Song, which won a help an award and is very bravely taken off overseas for a fantastic tour. So really, imagine it's just an excuse for us to hang out again. Now the music in the show that Nate has composed is a living thing. It winds its way through the pages, and three performers and two live digital puppeteers literally use their creativity to pull these worlds into existence before your eyes. It's just stunning. Now the thing that drew me to this book is not that obvious when you look at it. You see, this book is way ahead of its time. It's non-linear, which is great for parents. It means that you can open the book onto any page and just begin. You can go on a search looking for the kitty wake or the cowrie, or you can spend a whole night on just one page. For my kids, imagine represented playtime. It represented dad being silly. <laughs> because kids are smart. They know that it's not the book. It's that magic space that pops into existence between you and them through stunning books like this that really matters. And it's in that crazy, exciting, creative space that this work is built. I can't tell you how many times we converted our front uh, living room into an African savanna or pulled open the kitchen cupboards to make our favourite animals. Take a spoon and place it there And very soon you'll be Imagining with me Imagining with me A pot that's not, but wait there's more A plate and all Possibly more so. 
these kids, they knew more about the animals than we did, and in case you were wondering, dinosaurs are absolutely still a thing. <laughs> so, as you know, Alison's work connects strongly to the environment, and I remember her commenting on how so many of these animals are now endangered or even extinct. So, as we hand over this precious place to future generations, this work provides a fantastic opportunity to frame this for a younger audience. Because let's face it, how will you ever save the tiger frog if you've never heard of it? Like most of the work that we make, our show is technically ambitious. It takes all the learnings from robot songs and dials it up to a thousand. We've embedded access and inclusion into the very DNA of the work. And we've also framed this entire book with a really important conversation, an intergenerational conversation between a grandparent and a grandchild. And thanks to Australian Council and Creative Vic and the Mornington Shire Council, we've had multiple developments and we're ready to pack it all in together. We've got heaps of stuff on our Imagine Live website. If you want to see us afterwards, and we'll give you the link. There's demos and fantastic examples of the work. Now on a final note, but a super important one. Like most of us, I've been reading studies about the escalating crisis in mental health for young people. It's my personal crusade. And whilst I won't go into those heartbreaking statistics here, I will point out that the fact that imagination, play and creativity are repeatedly highlighted as essential ingredients for resilience and self-esteem. And it's really this that draws me to this book. It's the idea that imagination is a muscle that loves to be worked. It lifts you up, but it also holds you on the way down, which is a really beautiful idea that this little book has been celebrating for decades. to give you some exciting developments for this work as it premieres at the end of next year. Welcome. Thanks, John, May and Ash. Uh, it's going to be absolutely incredible. Um, I don't think you know that the premiere season of Imagine will be in September 2024 with our amazing producing partners, Geelong Arts Centre and Parramatta Riverside. Yay! As part of that 2024 Festivals for Young People. Um, it is fantastic that presenters are investing in new Australian work like this. Um, NCM is also scheduling the 2025 national tour with dates starting from May 2025. We have uh, dates for 18 presenters already in place. So to express interest uh, in joining the tour, um, please see we've got Darcy Van Dillen uh, here in the audience and Josh Sharon for the NCM team. Um, also, uh, just quickly, we've gone old school and we actually have a new NCM artist roster brochure available for you to take home, including Imagine, uh, and it's perfect for your whole programming for 2025. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again uh, for having us, um, APAX, um, and look forward to chatting in for you. Thank you.